Well, hello. Um, this is the next installment of the refit of the Great Forges. We are obviously, if you're looking around, in the Elven Quarter. And so this is the Navari Great Forge. And it's had quite a makeover. I built a very large fortress here with some embellishments. Notice the detail on this two-tier high smooth wall. That's the side of the small adamant pillars with the detailing. There's only one entrance and exit now other than the stone. And that uh, view and the parapets uh, make a nice, just looks nice. Uh, the sides are all smooth now. Oh, I missed a piece of wood. Ah, oh, how did I do that? All right, I'll take care of that later. There is no entrance on this side anymore, nor on the other side. Oh, I guess I decided to climb a tree. All right, I missed one piece of wood. Hmm. I'm going to show you the other side before I go into the front. So think of this as a giant fortress. Oh, I guess I can't get up there <laughs> that way. All right, well, we'll go... Uh, We'll go over that way later. So, this is a giant fortress with embellishments. I like this look of the smooth walls. The parapets, the angled parapets. I think those look nice. Okay, one tunnel to a door. Now, if the enemy breaches the front door, which is double thick adamant, uh, they come in here, and there's no way out other than forward to that door. Um, the walls are smooth so they can't really climb them and up above is a murder hole and so dwarves can line up out there and just shoot down in here or pour boiling oil or whatever. Dangerous day to be an orc. Uh, right here. Anyway, I opened the doors ahead of time but the doors, uh, that's the second door. I'd also point out that if you did have to fight, the doors from inside would have the advantage of being above the enemy because it's easier to swing and defend down than it is to swing up. And that's why height has an advantage. All right. There are two main buildings, building one and building two. And then there's the central building, which we'll go in after. Let me show you the front uh, first. So there is a catwalk that goes all the way around. And this is what it looks like down into the murder hole. So as the enemy approaches, you can just skewer them or shoot at them. There's no place for them to escape. You got a nice view out there. I might make a couple of towers out front. I haven't decided yet. Building two again. All right, let's go through building one. There are two entrances to building one. This is the side, the inside entrance. It goes up to flight of stairs. And there are two rooms. With basic accommodations. 
Now this room does go all the way out into the forge and one of the kitchen areas. There are two kitchen areas. I'll show you those later. And then there's the front entrance to uh, building one. See the nice smooth walls. All right. The front entrance to building one has uh, the uh, crafting area. Narrow set of stairs up into one of the master bedrooms. And it's the same on the other side, though I decorated it a little different. I was trying out different uh, configurations. Another crafting area. That's the front of building two. The side entrance. To building two goes up just like in building one. You can get out to the kitchens, but there are two other rooms. I was running a little short on wood. All right, let's go back downstairs. If you go straight, this is where the stone and repair is. Also the main storage for miscellaneous stuff. It's all through here. I am real quick going to take you in through the front of building one again, all the way up. Because I want to show you the, uh, the very top roofs. All right, when you're up here, you can go through the top roof. There's another set of parapets. You can look out. It's late afternoon now. You can look out over the front gatehouse, the parapets, the catwalk. Or you can look out over the Great Forge. And we'll go down there in a minute. Above each building is a, a sweeping staircase with a farm. Now I gave away some bat droppings, so I don't have as many on me right now. So this isn't populated. But this will be another farm. So the, the farming here will be massive. Very nice luxury townhouse. So each townhouse can hold one luxury apartment on the top floor and one crafting area and two smaller apartments. So six dwarves can live here comfortably. You can pack them in a little tighter if you like. All right, so let's go into the Great Forge. Obviously, a grand heart. There's a couple here. The others are hidden. Uh, to the left is the brewery. Unfortunately, no catwalk this time. Couldn't figure out how to do it without uh, wrecking the aesthetic or hitting the um, statues. There are two kitchen areas, and they have all seven uh, brew kettles and then a bakery, stove, 
grill. But there are four King's Brew, a full complemented forge, including the Cudzel Forge, two normal forges, obviously the forge for here, five of the Ufan Furnaces. Oh, I didn't show you the rest of the... Uh, Brewery. So this medium sized brew tanks are here. There's five of them. Those you can access. I, I repurposed this. You could come up to a catwalk, but the king's the king's uh, brew tanks, you're gonna you have to climb the ladders, unfortunately. I I couldn't figure out a good way to put something that high I thought about building a set of stairs here but it collided with the uh, statues of Durin so I decided not to do it the this is probably the second largest, if not tied for the largest space. Uh, obviously, the bulk of the space to build is out front. All right, let's look at the kitchen for building two. This area is a little bigger. This room is not symmetrical, which is uh, mighty annoying when you're trying to lay things out. But uh, we have the same brew kettles. We have one more uh, grill, but this is a kitchen area. And then we have a massive amount of storage, two tiers worth of extra wide storage and some grist mills. And I don't like them, but you climb the ladder, you can go up to the second tier. Ooh. All right, small armory. I didn't try covering up the uh, damaged wall there. I could have, but I decided not to. Of course, I repaired this set of stairs in the same manner as I've repaired all the rest. All right, well, that's the Great Navari Forge. Trying to keep my video shorter. Um, this is about the most exciting thing I figured I could do with the forge right here. It is not a bad build location. There is room out there to build something else, another tower or two. Uh, same as always, no build mods. I do use the pause mod. I use the um, put an epic item in every slot mod now and the uh, fat stacks mod, but no build mods. So no structural integrity modifications. I do lose pieces now and then. Uh, it does happen on all my builds. It is not consistent. And this was a mix of heavy adamant with bridge building technique and then just granite uh, with uh, pillars and structure. So 
Woe is the orc that attacks the Nari Navi Great Forge. I hope you enjoyed.